Okay, as promised, we are going to change the optical drive in this thing. And when I got this Flower Power Mac, I noticed that the optical drive wasn't working correctly. So what I did is I turned the uh, iMac over, I took the bottom cover off, and I took the optical drive out, and I had ordered a upgraded optical drive. So this is the original drive in it. It's just a four times speed DVD-ROM drive, and at the time that was okay. Now, so these iMacs were introduced in early 2001. They introduced the Flower Power and the Blue Dalmatian. They offered these in 500 or 600 megahertz models. So at the time of ordering these machines, you could get either a 24 times speed CD-ROM drive or 8x4x32CDRW drive, which was the upgraded version on these machines. And so that's what we got. We're going to be putting an 8 times 4 by 32 CD RW drive in it. An interesting thing about these iMacs, they also share the same drives as the G4 Cube. So if you have a failing drive in a G4 Cube, you could pull one out of an iMac. They are interchangeable. The only difference is basically the board on the back here on the Cube. It's just a little bit different. It's got an extra connector on it, although you probably could use this. But anyway, that's a nice thing about it. So if you have a Cube or if you have an iMac, they share the same drives. So obviously we need this bracket to mount the new optical drive in there. And this is our new replacement for it. And here's the replacement. And you notice it has the adapter already on it. Now these adapters are getting kind of harder to find on these machines. I've actually had a couple people comment on my channel, where can I get one of these? And a lot of times you can pick these up on eBay. Sometimes they're hard to find. And I will hold this up here, and that is the model number on it. Now the cube model number is just a little different, but yeah, so there you go, 1999. So ATI slash PATA connector. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna install it in this machine. Now we're doing the overhead camera here, which is my iPhone. I just got it up in the air here. I thought maybe that might get us a little bit better view. So we're going to flip this over and start to tear it apart. And also these Flower Power iMacs and the Dalmatian iMacs, they had a very short lifespan because like I said, they came out early 2001 and by late summer, they were discontinued in favor of the Snow iMac and the Graphite iMac. And they also offered those in 700 megahertz. And yes, you could stick a 700 megahertz board in here as well. It will work. And you notice these little things right here. These are missing the caps that goes over the screws, which I have extra ones, but I'm not gonna do that today. We're just gonna put the optical drive in it. Now I flipped it over and I got it on the towel because I don't want to scratch the case up, but I just put a towel over this because all we're going to be doing is just changing the optical drive. And I got it laying right here, CR CRT side down. We're going to pull this cover off and we will try to get as much of it in here as possible. The camera here. And we'll put it over that way, right there. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's start taking it apart here.
SSD. I had to unhook that to get that other. So now we can take a little bit of dust in here. We'll get rid of that here. So, paintbrush here. I'm out of canned air. That's all right. This worked just fine. All right. So now we'll put the new CD-ROM in here. So we will take and take the brackets off of this here. So we got those all in there. Um, I had to do it off camera a little bit here because I had to really wail, wail away on these things to get these things to stay in place there. But anyway, they're all in there just like they should be. So now we're gonna put it back in here and get everything hooked back up here. together so we're gonna take it back up upstairs and we will plug it in and we will test the optical drive okay well um we have a problem here so i got it all back together i 
took it up, brought it back up here, and we are not getting any video. You can hear it accessing the optical drive. You just hear the power down board power up, and it is getting power. We do not get any USB to it. It's not powering up the keyboard, and that's what it does. So we're going to have to uh, take it apart and see what the issue is. I will unhook the optical drive and see if that takes care of the issue. Okay, so we unhook the optical drive, and you can see that it has booted up just fine. Booted right up. No problem. The USB works on it. And that's very interesting. Now, I know the optical drive is good, and I know the motherboard is good on this. There's no problem with that. So what I'm going to do is I do have another connector that connects it to the motherboard, the optical drive, and the SSD drive, which we're running off of now. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to change that connector, and let's see if it will boot with the optical drive in it with that new connector. It could be there might be a break in the wire, could be a bridge pin on it somewhere. So let's try that. So there you have it. It's working now. So the issue was this cable. We will throw that away. I've never ever had one of these go bad, but apparently this had either a bridge pin on a connector or maybe one of these that are purposely separated, maybe there's a, a, a grounding issue with it. But anyway, so we are functioning. So now it's got the optical drive in it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it back together again. We'll get it back in its position. We will test the CD drive here. All right, Smirky, don't be helping me now. We'll test the CD, CD drive. <laughs> oh, my kitties are being bad, so. Uh, let me get this thing put back together and we'll be back in a few. All right, so we got it all running again here. I've got the uh, resolution turned down on this here so we can uh, get rid of most of the screen flicker there. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if this reads this CD here. Well, we had to help the, the uh, diskette in there. So we might have to do a belt job on this thing. It worked fine without <laughs> when it wasn't in the, in the machine here. But it is reading it. Let's uh, see if we can open it up here. Hopefully it's compatible with this. Oh, look at that. Welcome to World Book. Let's uh, open this up a little bit here. Launch World Book app. Open World Book. Let's do that. Let's open it up and see. And this might not be compatible, actually, with this, uh, with Tiger here. I'm not sure. Hmm. Tell you what, let's, uh, let's take a look here. Cannot find World Book. May have been deleted may not have been installed or may not have been moved to a location that you cannot access. The Mr. Initiating should reinstall World Book. Hmm, well, let's click the instructions. Oh, I don't want to go to Firefox now. 10 for Fox, rather. Didn't want to really go to the internet here. We're going to quit 10.4 Fox here. Let's try this again here. Let's um, open this up again here. Let's open it. I guess we're missing some of the uh, app here.
See if it does anything. Nope. See, it's looking for the. It's looking for tiger. It's looking on leopard. Searching disc. So I guess. I guess this obviously isn't a full install here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's all good. Now let's uh, try to eject this thing. This ought to be interesting. Yep. I have to help it here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I had to take the bottom cover off to get the uh, CD out of there. And we need to replace the belt on the CD drive. And I have done that on the cube. I did a video on that. I'll put a link in the description. So if you need to do that, uh, you can do that yourself. But I do not have any more belts, so I will have to order a belt to replace this. So that way it will eject properly and it'll suck the disc in properly. You know, when I did it on my cube, that thing, you can almost catch them in your hand now. It works, works almost too good now. So anyway, uh, yeah, so... I was looking for a CD. I had I have some Mac games on a CD, but I don't know if they will work with Tiger. I'm not sure, and I cannot find it. But this, it does it does read the CD, no problem. And I was looking for another one to stick in there, and I have like the system disc, like OS nine and that kind of thing. But what I wanted to do was actually test out the burner on it to make sure it burns but we really need to replace that drive belt before we do that. So long story short, the optical drive works fine. The issue of the uh, computer not booting up was the bad cable that connects the motherboard, the optical drive, and the hard disk. It's a very tiny cable as I showed you, and I've never had one of those go bad before, but this one was. So that's why it wouldn't let the monitor turn on. We replaced the cable, and it works just fine. The optical drive, as far as I know, works just fine. Like I said, uh, when I tested it before, it was very slow to eject things, but now it, it, it's just that build is so stretched out. And that's what happens with these particular drives, is that the uh, drive belt gets stretched out. But it's really easy to replace it. And then once we're in there, we'll just kind of lubricate things, and it'll work just fine for another 15, 20 years. So, but anyway, yeah. So, you know, guys, I was going to play some games. I really want to play some games now that I got the resolution set on this silly thing. But the flower power, we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. I am going to put the bottom cover back on it. I don't want to leave it like that. I will get a drive belt and then I'll put the new drive belt in there. I'll have to take the optical drive out, take it apart, put the drive belt in there, clean everything up. But it's good to go other than that. So yeah, guys, so listen, I hope, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, you know, uh, things just didn't quite turn out the way that I hoped it would. But hey, that's all about this uh, retro computer stuff, right? And uh, if anybody knows, uh, you know, my friends at uh, MacYak and Sean and all those guys, Mike at uh, Mike's Mac Shack, we know how these things go. You know, they're supposed to work, but sometimes when you get them in there, they don't work. So anyway, you guys have a good rest of your week. Please uh, like and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate it. And also click that notification bell for all the notifications of any type of video, even video shorts that I'm starting to do now. And we're also on MeWe and Twitter. Check us out there. And we're also on the platforms on Rumble and Odyssey. Check us out there as well. You have a great rest of your week. Uh, I will see you in the next video. And on that note, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.